dear learners about the mentioned topic on the board motion some of the basic information or knowledge about the mentioned topic you have studied in the previous classes but now in this class you will get more detailed knowledge about this topic first of all make focus towards the flow chart of mentioned topic motion motion is having two types one is uniform motion and another is non uniform motion further uniform motion having two types motion in a straight line and another is motion in circular path further description of motion speed velocity and acceleration here we will study about uniform speed average speed and non uniform speed similarly about velocity uniform velocity average velocity and non uniform velocity about acceleration uniform acceleration and non uniform acceleration these are the sub topics of the main topic motion now 
we will define the motion dear learners before knowing the term motion you should be aware about the term reference point or origin reference point the point or fixed point with respect to which we can specify or measure the position of an object with the passage of time listen carefully reference point is that fixed point with respect to which we can specify or measure the position of an object with the passage of time for example an object start its journey from point a and after some time of interval the object reached at point b so if we have to know the position of point b then we should know about the reference point or fixed point with respect to which we are measuring or specifying the current location or position of object b again listen suppose that you start your journey from point a and after some time of interval you reached at point b point a is supposed to be your house home and point b is supposed to be school then you can say the point a means home home is considered to be the reference point because if when you will reach at point b means school and you have to calculate the distance which you have traveled then you will start the measuring from point a it means the current location or current position of your school can be specified by knowing the point a so point a is known as reference point next is motion how you will define motion when an object changes its position when an object changes its position with the passage of time the object is said to be in motion when an object changes its position with the passage of time the object is said to be in motion similarly rest when an object do not changes its position with respect to time the object is said to be in rest listen 
when an object do not change its position with respect to time the object is said to be in rest okay listen motion and rest both they are related terms are you getting motion and rest both they are relative terms how you have to note down it motion and rest are relative terms how for example if you are sitting inside a moving train then you are in the position of motion with respect to the poles standing outside the railway track or the farmer those who are working in the field you are in motion but same time if you will assess your position inside the moving train with respect to other passenger those are also sitting inside the train or fan or an object which is inside the train you are in rest so we can say motion and rest both they are relative terms okay today we have learned or we have studied about the main three terms reference point motion definition of motion and rest in next lecture we will learn about the different types of motion thank you